I've been working diligently on the opioid epidemic for the last 10 years, and I have evolved on my thinking on drug addiction. This is, if we do not deal with this problem that we face in our community, and I mean on every single level, we're going to drown it. We have to reach down right now to fourth graders, to fifth graders, to try to choke this thing out in the next 10 years. It's going to take us that long to get out of it. But I can implement a plan to do that in 10 years. I won't be sheriff in 10 years. We've only got eight years to make something happen, either one of us. But I'm telling you, that's our number one. It should be. If it's not, then, then you're out of touch. Because I'm telling you, it, it affects every single thing we do today in every aspect of our agency. Everything. It's killing people at alarming rates. I see it every single day. I'm there on the front lines with it. It's destroying families. It's hurting our community. It's hurting our business community. And we have to make that a priority. It is incumbent on us. I'm telling you, please listen to me. If you don't hear anything else I say tonight, that is the number one priority for our entire community. We're going to get a hold of it also within the sheriff's office as far as the forensic side of it. We in law enforcement have got to address what we do out here on the streets also of combating not only just the dealers, but also getting with our legislatures and saying, hey, are you going to continue letting the manufacturers and the doctors and everybody else involved in it, are you going to continue letting them get away with what they're doing? Let's bring them in. I've talked to two different medical people, not in the medical field, but they are the ones who go into the surgeries with the doctors with their, uh, their implants and what have you. And they're telling me part of the problem that they're seeing is, look, the doctors are being evaluated now. The evaluation is to get them paid by the insurance company. And when that doctor doesn't give that patient what they want, then that patient doesn't give them a good evaluation. And they don't get their paid like they would hope to. So, of course, they're going to they're gonna prescribe that. Those are where we've got to start. And we, we've got to start within, in our own house, we have to start with that. We've got to combat it. We're going to combat it. And we're going to make it happen. 